according to Tyler. Looks great. My new shirt? Yes. Just say yes, Tyler. <laughs> okay. This is going to be great. So do we want to scroll? I think at looking glass they can. Oh, <clears throat> okay, here's what we behave. Oh, people are joining. Go ahead and say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome. If you are at the happy hour, how much fun was that? Yeah, welcome back, too. And if you were not, welcome to uh, almost the beginning of tonight's program. We still have a few moments before we get really fully underway, but we're glad you're here. And the good news is you're definitely now muted, so you can talk amongst yourself and there won't be feedback or interruptions. We, on the other hand, have to keep the mic open, and so we will be on our best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we are Liz and Riley, for those of you who are just meeting us for the first time, and uh, and we're glad to meet you too. Yeah. And we're very honored to be MCs once again this year for the event. Every time they call, mm. just like, yay. It is such an honor. Yes. So if you didn't hear earlier, the online auction is going to, it's been up since Thursday, and I know some of you have been bidding, uh, bidding quite a bit. So it's going to be open until 8 o'clock tonight. You have plenty of time to get your final bids in, and there's still a lot of great stuff out there. Yeah, there's some beautiful jewelry. Of course, oh. the trips. We heard about mm -hmm. that in the, uh, the <laughs> cocktail hour. Already we, some battles there. <laughs> Battle on the, the coast trip, right. and uh, if you love hitting the, the links, there's some great golf golf packages mm -hmm. out there for you too. So if you haven't checked them out yet, it, it, you're not too late. Just because the program is starting, right. that's going to be open until 8 p.m. tonight. Plenty of time to up those bids. Maybe come in from uh, from behind and surprise somebody that thinks they've already got uh, got a lock on the Justin Herbert signed football. Man, that one. Yeah. All right. So the live auction highlights are going to be starting at about 515. Um, and again, the bidding is already taking place. And the program that we have for you tonight, I shouldn't say we as if we did anything. No, the people who have worked so hard to put this together and these videos that you're going to see are inspiring and they are emotion filled. And if you are new to being a supporter of Looking Glass, it will in a very short amount of time just sum up exactly why it's important to support this great organization. Yeah, there's some very compelling stories and really measurable results for the work that Looking Glass does with some of these stories as well. So make sure you're you're here for that and get a tissue and get a tissue and make sure those of you up. throwing parties that you have your guests zip it when the videos are on especially because they're definitely worth watching absolutely then that's kind of the i don't want to say heavy part but that's the more serious that's the reality of why we yeah are that's the heart tonight, and soul of why we're here soul. yeah but we've got a little bit of fun for you after our program is over this part yes. of the program about 6 p.m. We're going to close this link and you'll link back on again and we'll have a ton of fun playing some uh, some online games, some yeah, bingo and be. trivia. How smart do you feel tonight? Is it party um, the the sponsor for that? <laughs> I wrote it on your City. notes. Oh, right over there, Mary. Grab those notes. Let me, uh, it's we, good to be prepared. <laughs> we have what we need. <laughs> it's party team. Yay, party team. Team was a really hard word for me to remember. <laughs> Great. We haven't been working as a team for a whole month. There's no I in team, you know. But there is me if you That's change true. the words just right. <laughs> Again, welcome this evening, and we're going to be getting this, this fun program underway shortly. Oh, if you have not yet had a chance to refill your drink, you have just a couple more minutes left to do that. Maybe grab one more bite or two of your meal. Actually, you can eat during the program. That's fine. That's true. But not with your, yeah, but. You can clink. Mm -hmm. You can make all the noise you, you want. I was going to say, but not with your mouth open, but we won't know. That's right. <laughs> so you can really make yourself at home while you're uh, enjoying the, the Looking Glass auction event. And if you have any questions, I'm just throwing this out. Sorry, Tyler. Um, but th that's where the little chat is for. If you've got the opportunity to chat, if you if you want to say, gee, Mary, where did you get that new shirt that you're wearing? Because <laughs> oh, oh, we can't see your shirt because you're shorter than me. That, isn't that shirt, a nice shirt? And, you know, I'm going to use that classic mm -hmm. answer somebody taught me. Oh, I got it at Buffalo Exchange. It was the only one. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> Very nice. I learned that from a pro. 
actually I learned it from somebody who made me really jealous because I knew they didn't get it at Buffalo Exchange. They just didn't want me to get what they had. So they my daughter, to me. when she was little, asked her aunt if she if she liked her leggings and asked if she got them at Safeway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's always a go to in our family. Like, Remember, Ooh. though, when you could at Safeway yeah. get Lego le legs and they came and the legs, legs, weren't that wasn't that the uh, pantyhose you got? In the oh, big yeah, egg, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and so they would be like stockings. So mm -hmm. you could get those at Safeway. Well, there was a time way back when, as we're in the way back machine here, you could actually <laughs> buy tennis shoes at the grocery store. Yes. Oh, so glad it's <laughs> now and not then. How did we get on that? I don't know, but I love that from that, we are now actually talking to each other, just like they did in the Jetsons, on a screen from distances. Where's the flying car? They're working on those. Apparently, they're a secret. I saw that on a YouTube video. <laughs> Guy in the tinfoil hat said they've got those already. Our numbers keep <laughs> jumping up. People continue to join in, and we're glad if you just came in and you missed that whole debacle of the <laughs> Wayback Machine conversation. Lucky you, but we welcome you. We are Liz Kelly and Mary Riley. Again, so honored to be the MCs for tonight. Not so much the hosts. In fact, we've got some great speakers for mm. you, those folks are going to be hosting the show and giving you all the information that you need to know and feel inspired to be a big supporter of Looking Glass. And in the meantime, just a reminder that the bidding for the auction items is going to be continuing until eight o'clock, even though the live auction is going to be, uh, we're going to be getting into that at about 515. The bidding is going to remain open until eight o'clock. So you have plenty of time to get your bids in. Yeah, and it's the same website that you clicked into this link is where you can see the, the items that are up for bid. In fact, if you got one of the dinners from Market mm. of Choice, yum, yum, you also received a little packet, a little booklet, a very nice booklet that has all of the virtual auction items inside it and colored and beautiful and glossy. And you can take a look at that as we are moving on this evening. Not while the speakers are speaking though, because because that's important to listen right. to. I mean, especially for those of you, and we did have people during the happy hour, we asked how many people were here for the first time and considering there's almost twice as many attendees here now, I'm sure there's plenty of folks who are here for their very first Looking Glass event. And so you'll be learning a lot about what they do in the community and how you can help them do what they do. Boy, and in, the, in 12 months time, since we went to this new format of doing events, um, Mary and I have been involved in just scads of them. And I can't believe in such a short amount of time how they have evolved and become not odd anymore. Right, They're right. just fun. And lots of different things that you can do yeah. with an online event that we couldn't even do with an in-person event. Give, give people a need and the innovation begins. It's been really impressive to see how people still get together and help out the community. Yeah. This community is amazing to me. And you don't have to get a regard. babysitter. Oh, that's right. You There's... don't have to buy any new outfits. Well, well I mean, I, I get to. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you gotta do that. <laughs> do it anyway. Buy the outfit, even if you don't need it. That's right. You're supporting the retailers, Mary. I'm helping the community. That's right. Buy local. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Buffalo Exchange. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> they've got to eat too. So, guys, we um, are getting ready to to start the program. <clears throat> Uh, so just want to quickly remind you to take your seats, everybody, yeah. if you could please find your seats. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and I think, are we about to get started? I should probably check in. Uh, I do want to say that for 50 years, Looking Glass has provided services to at-risk youth in Lane County, including emergency shelter, residential treatment, counseling, education programs, and it is with your support that we're able to help more than 8,000 youth every year develop the skills they need to live healthier, happier, and more productive lives. So I don't know that there's enough times that we can say thank you and thank you and thank you again for being here tonight, for being here for Looking Glass throughout the year, helping to ensure that these kids get the support that they need. And so now before we do anything else, we have a ton of people whose generosity is making this evening possible. We wanna acknowledge them. Here to help us with that is Looking Glass President, CEO, Craig Opperman. Hey, good evening. Now I have to start by saying that my Zoom account says that since this time last year, I've been in 983 Zoom meetings. 
which gives you an idea of the Zoom world that I've been in, a lot of you too. But I have to say that the little thing at 4.30 that happened that I was just sort of a part of, I need more of those kind of Zoom meetings <laughs> and, and less of the intense ones that I've been in. Um, but that was really fun. The people are in there for our, our little party before. That was so fun. I appreciate you all being in for that. And yes, I get to say some thank yous, which is one of my favorite things to do. And I want to start with Mary and Liz. Um, you know, we're so lucky to have your many talents and your media talents and your big hearts here helping us and supporting Looking Glass as you do so often. So thank you, thank you, Mary and Liz. And I want to quickly recognize the rest of the team here tonight. We've got Andy Sanchez and Shaylin Pilling from the admin team. Um, they're helping us out in many ways. And of course, the development team, I need to recognize Amanda Zakarda, who's done an incredible amount of work on this event for us. And then Tyler Mack, the development director, who you'll hear more from in a little bit too. But thank you all to the development team. It's so fun. I feel like you know, we need some applause tag or something, but um, they've all been incredible. Yeah, so have the team here to applaud. And we cannot produce this event without the generous contributions of many companies and individuals. So I want to say thank you to so many donors and sponsors. You you're see, have seen and you're seeing event sponsors scroll on our screen, um, on our screen share. The amazing individuals and companies that have donated are listed. And thank you to those folks that have helped us. And we know this year has been a really difficult year for a lot of the individuals and organizations that help us. So we're especially thankful for the help this year. I want to talk about our auction committee for a minute. Um, planning an auction is an incredible amount of work and a virtual auction isn't really that much less work. And in fact, as I've experienced this this week, I think it may be even more difficult. It still takes months to involve the community, design the look, bring packages and auction items to bid on. This year we had an incredible group help us with every part of this auction. Although we can't applaud them together, please know we are thankful for their assistance once again. And I want, do want to read the names of our auction committee. It's Judy Betts, Sandy Gerber, Christina Lund, Beth Sheehan, and Jeannie Staten. Thank you so much, auction committee. Knocked it out of the park again. And we wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for the people of Looking Glass. I want to thank the very talented Looking Glass program directors and all of the employees whose, and whose work contributes to the mission of improving the lives of at-risk at youth in our community. And an extra special thank you is owed to our incredible board of directors. You're gonna meet one of the, the leaders, one of the, the chair tonight, Dan Lacoste, and the board of directors, just an amazing, great team of leaders and board of directors we have. And also our wonderful team of supporters on our board of stewards, which is energized and growing and helps us in so many ways. So thank you to the, the boards we have, the board of directors, the board of stewards. And then I wanna take a, a minute as I usually do to call out a special group to remind everybody of, and that's the folks that provide, you know, Looking Glass has 24 hour a day, seven day a week, 366 day a year programs. Um, and we have teams of people that, that take care of those programs, that take care of youth with incredible needs. And so I really wanna recognize the crisis response team, the shelter care staff, the residential teams, the residential staff, all the people that are on call and support to those programs and our 24 seven programs. You know, Looking Glass never sleeps and we never let our guard down in terms of safety for those youth that come and live with us literally because there's not a safer place for them to be at this time in their lives. And so we take that very seriously and we keep them safe and it's because of those people I just mentioned. So remember when you go to bed tonight, there are teams of Looking Glass people that are taking care of some youth that don't have a better place to be right now that we take care of. So think of those folks, and I thank them so much for what they do. And with that, for now, I get to bring up another guest of honor who I mentioned before. Please welcome our Director of Development, who's done incredible work again this year as usual, Tyler Mack. Come on up. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Craig. So. Uh, again, I'm, I'm Tyler Mack. I'm the Director of Marketing and Development here at Looking Glass and, and thrilled to be a part of tonight's event and sharing our, our amazing stories with you guys. Um, as I often tell folks, I, I don't do the hard work here. I just share the stories of folks who do and I'm honored to do it. So it's a lot of fun and a real passion uh, and, and just I feel very honored. So 
thanks everyone for joining tonight and uh, we hope you have a, a good time and, and uh, we're gonna have some fun and raise some funds for our at-risk youth in Lane County here. So thank you so much. Um, we do have a lot of great auction items we're gonna go over real soon, but to, to, before we do that, we have a few videos uh, we wanna share, some really great compelling stories from our, our kiddos and some success stories. So uh, we're gonna do uh, the first of three uh, now. These are about three minute long videos. If you'll bear with us and, and listen to these incredible stories, grab a box of tissues, because I, I assure you they're, they're emotional, but they're powerful. And I find them inspiring, and I'm sure you will too. So with that, uh, let's play Tessa's video. My mom was very loving, very affectionate, very um, involved in inspiring me. I would have, you know, five friends over and she'd be like, all right, everybody's gonna fold the laundry and, you know, mow the lawn and clean up the kitchen and then I'll take you wherever you wanna go. And a lot of my friends would be just like, I have to do your laundry and like help you mow your lawn. And I was like, listen, yes, yes you do. Um, but then she would take us on like an amazing adventure or a hike and pack just like a full picnic and go all out in these really like thoughtful ways and all of my friends called her Mama Tina. She was just like the mom. From her diagnosis it was a year when she passed she had uh, the most aggressive form of breast cancer. So it was a major traumatic event to see her suffer and pass and, um, and then life without her. And there came a point where it was, it was really debilitating my daily um, life, just feeling really low motivation. I was just isolating myself and in that pain and in that kind of confusion. I had a teacher who had recommended Looking Glass in high school a while back, and uh, so I really trusted him. And decided to reach out and my first counselor uh, was a great fit. It really wasn't till now, honestly, or afterwards that I was able to let tears come or feel like, wow, that was really hard. And um, I'm, I'm actually thankful that I can, I can feel that and not just be like, it is, it's okay because it wasn't, it was really hard. The therapy at Looking Glass has provided me a new format for approaching hard emotions and challenging feelings. And I apply the tools that I learned in therapy frequently throughout my day. Um, and I share them with my friends and family. Oh, what a special story. I hope everyone was able to, to view that and hear that uh, story from Tessa and uh, an amazing job by our therapists, which uh, do just fantastic work and has been a real, real source of strength this year and really difficult year for, for kiddos as well. But that's a great example of, of the wide breadth of, of services that our counseling provides. Um, with that, uh, we're going to kick off our, our live auction highlights, and uh, in order to do that, I need some help. So I'm going to bring up uh, our big guns here, bring up Dan Lacoste, our, our board chair, and uh, we're going to start highlighting some auction items here and, and have some fun. So Dan, what do you think? Should we make some money for some let's, kids? Let's do it. I think we can. <laughs> a, a quick intro um, uh, on me. Um, I've been the board chair now, I think, for five years, been with the board, played a decade or so, um, and... Uh, and I, I do want to, I asked Craig at the beginning, should I be thanking anybody like in a roundabout? He said, nope, I got that. But the one person he didn't get was himself, which is the biggest reason all of this takes place. So Craig, thank you so much for everything you do. Um, you know, this is a fiduciary board. 
uh, were responsible. So the staff that you brought on board, the way you handle things uh, for all of us, uh, we greatly appreciate it. So thank you. Indeed. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to some auction items. All right. Uh, so we're going to just go through these one at a time, and uh, uh, as you might notice, we're we're uh, or maybe not, but we're, we're not actually going to be. Uh, Bidding and having you raise your paddles here. Yeah, 500, 600, 7. No, uh, we're just going to highlight where we're at, and uh, the auction items are open until 8 p.m., so you've got plenty of time. So, uh, Shaylin, let's, let's go ahead and click on the first one, and we're just going to highlight these great auction items and thank our top bidders. And so, and take off to Walla Walla. Walla. So this Walla. is one I bid on earlier. I need to get back online. I can see <laughs> this is the, the flight to uh, Washington, not to pick onions, but to pick or to drink grapes, which would be much better. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a fun one. You got your own little private jet with some new friends that will be joining. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a great day for somebody. Yeah, so. talk about want to get away. That's, that's a nice day, day trip getaway. And we've got uh, our top bidder is, is Caitlin right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, bid on that, but uh, yeah, but we'll see. That that one's worth easily the thousand, uh, probably much more than that. So yeah, let's see if we can get that one up. Yeah. Not too high because I want to come in around. A thousand. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. So let's up, check out the wall of So thank you, Caitlin, for being our top bidder so far on this yeah. one. Yeah, I see Kurt's name on there too. Is okay. is bidding? So Kurt's fighting you. Yeah, man, Kurt's, so Kurt's actually gone back and forth with me a few times. <laughs> I think Kurt you might want to work to do there, Dan. Look at that. Come on, Dan. You need to bid. Uh, like next thing we've got our staycation package. This is from Excelsior, uh, which is fantastic mm -hmm. restaurant in you know really amazing uh, yeah local if, if you restaurant. haven't been down there by the university into this place it's really majestic when you first walk into it it's a pretty amazing place so uh to do an overnight there with the the, the, the food that they make there is would be a pretty magical experience i'm sure so it's very cool and where they, are we at on that one well we're at uh 500 looks like kelly ranstad our, our good uh, hybrid real estate friend yeah. is uh top bidder right now uh, i see uh pat frischkoff in there uh sarah Proctor is bid as well. I think Pat can do that. Come on, Pat. Somebody this can. One. Yeah, somebody can. I, I want to highlight those two bottles of wine. Those are not just uh, two buck checks. I'm going to tell you, those are really <laughs> special wines. So that's Silver Oaks in particular. I think that's like a $150, $200 bottle of wine. So it's a really fancy bottle there uh, for you wine aficionados. So not only the staycation and meal, but a great that's couple right. bottles of wine. Yeah. So let's see if we can get that one up, guys. All right. Let's go on to the next one, Channel. What we got next? The jewelry. Damn, would you so kindly grab that uh, yes. box right there, that white little box? So this is a piece of jewelry from our friends over at uh, Goldworks, and it's a really custom piece. I'm going to try and just test this, this camera, yeah, and see if we can get a better view of this. This is when we get into QVC mode, Dan. Are you ready for this? Home shopping network, okay? So not only, there you go, get the there, like the Vanna the hands. Priest. That's right. <laughs> this is a really custom piece, a very, very unique piece by Aaron over at Goldworks. And we're so thankful for this donation. Uh, it's got a, an opal moon stone and, and diamonds in it. And it's just a very, very unique. And piece. so far, our top bidder, Tiffany Roseman. Thanks, Tiffany, for that top bid. And it's worth a, a market value of over two thousand dollars guys right. that's right so keep that in mind as those bids are going absolutely thanks tiff i see jim, jim sly got on there as well so thank you jim and hopefully we uh we get that one up there all right let's go to the the next one what's next oh the football my goodness this one oh, this, uh, is, this, this is one's special. one good this yeah. is special you know you don't you don't that often get um, rookie of NFL rookie of the year is right out of Eugene, Oregon. Um, and it turns out we have one, uh, an old Sheldon high school kid who right. lives right down the street from his, his, his uh, family does. So pretty special indeed. In fact, I don't think we've ever had a rookie of the year and out of the NFL and I follow it pretty tightly. So this is a one of a kind. So, and where it says priceless, it truly is. Yeah, yeah. It truly is. There's three rookie cards that come with this as well. So those rookie cards will be worth something someday, I bet. Yeah. So I think, uh, who do we got on there? Uh, we got uh, uh, Jonah, if I'm saying uh, that right, Jonah. is up yeah. at, at uh, $2,000 on that one. So again, it, it is priceless. Uh, yeah. This was, uh, we got this from Jessica Cristobal herself and and, uh, and the Cristobal family. So thank you for that and the, the cards as well. This is probably Cody. a potential future Hall of Famer. You know, oh, I'd be buying their signature right now. So um, this memorabilia will be worth a lot. Yeah, go for it. All right, let's move on. And next up, 
is the lighthouse at Hasida Head. This is a really unique package. Uh, Dick and Sandy Germer have donated this a couple of years in a row here. Yeah. This is a really special, special place. You ever been to Hasida Head? I have not, no, but I did get online and take a peek it's at it. It's beautiful. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a special place. And they have this bed and breakfast package uh, with a full seven course meal. It's amazing. Right. So a really unique opportunity to get away to the coast and uh, enjoy a really unique experience. Yeah, this is great. So who's our top bidder? We got? I'm, I can't even read that. That's all right. No, <laughs> it's uh, Marjorie uh, and Seki, if I'm saying that right. So <laughs> it's uh, not fun. Thank you, Marjorie. Over. We're up at 1,050 <laughs> and uh, Tracy Wright was bidding in there before. So uh, still opportunities to get that. Got till 8 p.m. tonight on all these things. So keep bidding. That's right. right. Let's see how high we can get these babies up. Yeah, absolutely. And I know this, in, this includes a sea lion caves visit as well. So just, just mentioning that. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one there. And we're still going till eight o'clock. Don't eight forget that. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now it's our next one. Talk about getting away. How about Arizona uh, right now? Yeah. Yeah. Year, yeah, year round all the time, but yeah, Mesa, Arizona, I've been there. Done that. Day -day. <laughs> Fun. Uh, you should be there. In fact, vitamin D is one of the most important things that we can get in our bodies. So uh, go get a little extra hair and, this is, and help uh, a good cause. It's absolutely. Time. This is a package that includes a $500 gift certificate from Southwest Airlines, which is going to be flying out of Eugene starting in July, I think. So yeah, July 1st. Uh, it's got that included and it's a, it's a great house. And it's got, uh, I think, a community pool and, and yeah. hot tub and stuff Looks near like it. it. So this uh, is another... again, thanks to Dick and Sandy Dick Gerber and Sandy for Gerber. donating That's that. Right. That's right. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. And our top bidder is Caitlin uh, uh, L. There. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name, Caitlin. But, uh, uh, but Caitlin's uh, uh, yeah, we're not going to try. <laughs> a good supporter. We appreciate it. And I see Shelly Williams was up there before. Bill Randall's gotten in there. So you guys are all fighting for that. Let's uh, let's let's see if we can get that even higher. That's right. Until That's right. I think we can. All right. More friends. Here's our next <laughs> well, one. We're looking for somebody to help you. Enjoy the courthouse. Get away. Yeah, this is a nice, nice place. I, I've been here a time or two. I'm going to say uh, yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> it's a nice house. It's right on the beach, and uh, well taken care of. It's a great opportunity to get away to the coast. That's it's got cool. uh, uh, two beds, two baths. Um, it's it's a great, great spot right on the coast. Yeah, right any, on the coast. Anytime you need to get away from the the valley, the coast is. A great place to go the coast or central Oregon, one of the two so thank you donovan mac for uh mm -hmm. donating that to us and uh somebody's gonna have a great time over there I think. absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely it's, it's booked I'll, say, I'll tell you it's booked now through november so it's a yeah. popular place it looks like kurt's on that one as well kurt is leading thank you kurt you're, you're early and often we appreciate but i that. think i think alex he's got another glass of wine now and alex and you got this one <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go to the next package uh, what do we got? More Herbert uh, memorabilia. So this is a really cool piece here. This is Justin Herbert's uh, framed yeah, this piece. Is a cool piece. We've got two of these in the auction. Uh, one is his Oregon Ducks uh, career, and the other is his Rookie of the Year uh, Chargers career. So these things are very custom made from Duckos. Yeah. Really cool, cool. Now this here. this one I don't believe is signed, but one of the cool things about living in Eugene is you probably know somebody that knows somebody that knows him. Mm -hmm. or you can track them down or find them but uh, my guess is this one's gonna should go for a lot more uh, i bet you a signature will end up on this mm -hmm. at somebody's house for sure so um yeah let's that's definitely a priceless one as well yeah yeah very popular we always have bidding wars on those each each year we yeah. have those from deco so cool stuff all right and our top bidder right now is bryce haskin on that so bryce is the leading yeah, bidder on that 175 there, bryce and mess with yeah i don't know that's uh that's I think pretty that's cheap go higher. <laughs> that one's really <laughs> way too cheap right now yeah, yeah for sure let's see what we can do about that and uh let's go to the next one i think we're on that's the tail here we've got uh, a couple left yeah so this, this one. one yeah we're gonna grab the piece here again uh this is a really special one guys so our center point school uh, is a therapeutic school okay we've got uh we've got about 15 uh, youth in over in there i'm going to try to highlight this on the screen i hope go. it doesn't fuzz it up too much now it's clear enough these there are 12 go. individual panels painted by 12 individual kids at our center point school each uh, <clears> unique <throat> little piece very very cool but all tied together in one one uh one component here and you see some of the photos there of, of the kids painting them and they're they're super proud so this is an amazing school, really, really unique 
school and a, a, an awesome piece. So we're happy to have this. Yeah. Somebody's going to have this. You know, these are, these are, these type pieces are conversation pieces around the house, like any piece of art. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, this is, this shows how big a heart you have, frankly. Uh, this will show how much you care. And when you start talking about the kids that actually did this, um, it'll make your, your function or your story 10 times better. Absolutely. So that's, that's right now, that's only going for a hundred bucks. That's a, that's a deal. And uh, Pat Frischkoff, our great supporter, Pat is the leading bidder, but I bet somebody can swoop in there and, and bid more than that and highlight that at their yeah, office. No, yeah, home, I, so. I think that one's going to go up for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pictures of them, uh, of them painting them. I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. All right. Chandler, we got any more there? Let's see. We have... Oh, the uh, Florence getaway. That's right. Okay. This comes to us from Jim uh, Sly, uh, which is a, a really nice condo uh, right in Old Town. It's like a block from Moe's. It's a great location. And Florence, who, who doesn't like Florence? Yeah, it's like yeah. an hour away. It's fantastic. Yeah, so. especially with the, the sun coming out. You got the dunes. Uh, you got the outdoors. You got the ocean. You got pretty much whatever you want to go do there. Um, again, the great cause. It looks like our bid is at... Uh, 850 with uh, James Robert Sly. So don't let him get it. Get in there and uh, let's up that let's up that bid. That's right. That's a this is a heck of a value. It is. It also includes I know $100 gift certificate to Bridgewater uh, Fish House down there in Old Town, which is a great place. Um, breakfast at Kathleen and Nina's and Mo's Seafoods. So they got like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. And it's, a weekend stay. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a smoking deal. Yeah, I see Heather Crook has bid on that as well. Tracy Wright's up there. Kurt again. Kurt's been active and off and on. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably going to go back to my, my phone here afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so, so we've got till 8 o'clock on this one, too. Uh, and let's uh, let's see if we can get that one even higher. Steal that away from, from Jim Sly. He's bidding on his own. Yeah, yeah, we can't, we can't <laughs> let Jim buy his own. That's, for sure. that's right. All right, Jim, we got... Uh, we, is that, was that our last live be... one? Yeah, we yep. do. Okay, I think uh, that was it. I think that was our last live that's auction. Our live auction. Our okay, time. all right. So again, we've got till eight o'clock on all those items. Uh, some really unique uh, packages there and special uh, experiences. And we hope that you guys can get on and bid those up a little bit more. And, and we appreciate it. Again, every dollar yeah. goes to our program. So that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Not only do you get a little something out of it, you get uh, to, uh, to help an amazing organization and help a troubled youth and some family that needs it. That's right. So that's the bottom line. Well, we also get to know okay. what is it you know? it's uh, we're going to cue back uh, Liz and Mary if they're uh, uh, still on it can oh. chime in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 If you're not on, Tyler, I'm going to take over your radio show. You know, watch out. The Tyler and Dan show. That's right. We're not doing it, so <laughs> you're welcome to yeah, it. Oh, right. wait. We got it. We got to unmute them. See them, but we don't hear them. Look, you guys have us muted on your end. We're not muted on that. Uh, right. Somebody's audio is off somewhere. Well, that explains. Why? We're, oh, we were talking all us? over you guys. Yeah, <laughs> we were stepping all over you. We were climbing in, cheering on Caitlin, yeah. telling her if she needs some friends for her getaways. But I do them. like the fact that we know exactly what you want to be bidding on now, Dan. So <laughs> we know the items that need to really get because you'll go ahead and you'll continue to bid it up. So let me pour down another glass of wine. I'm going to go right over here, finish my beer, and bump up all those. <laughs> all right. While Dan is doing that, this is a really good time to revisit the, the reason that we are here. And that is to support Looking Glass and of course the kids that they serve. That's why Looking Glass is Looking Glass. And so tonight we have another special video that will demonstrate the work and the impact that Looking Glass has on our community. So let's hear this powerful story from Quay. She's a recent graduate from the residential program at Pathway Girls. I was taken away at five years old. I moved with my grandmother. Um, it was just a lot of stuff going on with my mom. She couldn't really take care of me. She started having problems in school with getting along with the other kids. And um, she was struggling with math a lot. And so that's when they started doing testing. They found out that she needed an IEP. It's a program for children um, that need a little extra help in school. I was 14 when I started using um, alcohol, marijuana. I felt like everybody was against me. I went to um, a facility, correctional facility. I got tired of being like alone and depressed. 
and then I came to Pathways and everything changed. Everything changed. Once I went there, it was like, it was like heaven <laughs> when I went there because everyone accepted me for who I am. Here at Looking Glass, um, in the residential sector of things, we have multiple programs where we serve adjudicated youth and we give them 24-7 supervision, um, education services on site, um, mental health therapy and counseling, drug and alcohol, um, counseling one-on-one -on -one and at the group level. They wanted to find a what would help me go home. They would look for clues like what's your favorite coping skill, what's your favorite movie, what do you like doing? And one thing I liked about the program is uh, them hearing us. They gave me the tools to be a successful person in life. We're very proud of Clay. You can't help but just love her and, and we got to watch her stabilize um, behaviorally and in the mental health area and then we watched her grow into um, like a very skillful young lady at this point. Um, so yeah, she did great with us. Yeah, it changed my life 360. Now I feel like I'm important, I'm needed, and I have a lot of self-respect. She did really, really good with the program. And I have to say that if it weren't for Pathways, I don't know where I would be sitting right now because Pathways seem to be the only program, she's been to two programs, and this was the one that really captured her and was able to really hold on to her and walk her down a good path. It feels really good. I, I think we can all say here at Looking Glass, this is why we do this job. It makes me feel good because I have a job now. I'm graduating this year and I'm only 16 and I feel like I'm worth something now. All right, uh, what a powerful story uh, from Quay. Really special stuff. Uh, we don't often hear stories from our residential programs. That's one of our, our lesser known areas and really one of the biggest things that we do. So I thought that was a really special, special story. So thank you for sharing that uh, uh, Quay and, uh, and to her grandmother as well. Um, so in speaking of our residential programs, uh, I wanted to highlight right now a special package and we're gonna share this on the screen. Uh, we sent out a text earlier on this as well, but uh, a big component of our residential programs is cooking. The kids, you know, they live there with us. So the food is, is tremendously important. And uh, what's on the screen now is a special appeal we have. Uh, we're trying to raise $10,000 uh, to get a, a new stove, a new commercial oven. Uh, Bettina over there is our cook and she's amazing, does, does fantastic work. She's working with a stove, an oven that's well beyond its years. Uh, I assure you these photos don't do it justice. It looks way worse in person. Uh, so we're trying to raise 10, 10 grand to, to get that. We have a special donor match offer that came through yesterday from an anonymous donor. I said I wouldn't share her name, but she's a longtime donor and a very supportive uh, person and uh, offered $5,000, up to $5,000 on a one-to-one -one match on this package. So if we can get another five grand from folks on this one, uh, we can get it done. I got a new oven in there and, and make sure that the kids there don't go, uh, don't go hungry and, and the patina has uh, something uh, legit to work with oven-wise. So uh, let's see if we, can, if we can boost that one up there. Uh, we sell them in $50 increments on that package. So you can, you can buy 10 of them or 20 of them to help us really speed that up. Uh, we've had some donors in there, Michelle Gall and Jessica Blatt and Tracy Wright and Jonna again is, is on there with a bunch. I know that Alex uh, Hagland and uh, Don Mack and others have, have contributed. So uh, please help us uh, get that one done. I appreciate that very much. So let's, let's get that one done and, and thank you to our longtime anonymous donor for making that special uh, match offer. That's a really, really a huge impact. Those match offers are very compelling. So let's make sure we get every dollar of that we can and uh, get a new oven over there. Uh, all right, so a couple of housekeeping things. I just wanna make sure that uh, we all are, are know that again, that uh, at 8 p.m. everything closes. So you've got time to, to bid on items still. Uh, we're doing paddle raising uh, here in a little bit. Uh, we've obviously got auction items going there. 
and we're channeling everything through our online bidding system. So if you haven't yet, there's still time. You can register and you can bid on this system. Uh, but if you want to write us a check, if you want to bring us a briefcase full of cash, uh, you can do that. We will accept that uh, carrier pigeon, however you want to get it to us. Uh, but for, for this event purposes, for the online uh, bidding program, we are trying to get everybody in that system so we can kind of track everything. But again, if you're not comfortable with that, you want to give us money some other way, I assure you, we will take it. So if you have any questions, uh, you can chat us here uh, on the Zoom. You can uh, uh, chat the amount of money you'd like to pledge if, if you're not comfortable putting your credit card on there or whatever. Uh, so just let us know or email me, call our direct line, 541-686-2688 is our direct line. Andy is standing by to take any calls. Again, 686-2688. Uh, and uh, we'll put that in the chat as well. Uh, hopefully Andy can, can do that for us. Uh, and then again, at the end of our, our program here, which we're, we're making pretty good time, uh, we are gonna have a fun uh, virtual bingo and, and trivia uh, program for you. Our, our friends over the party team are hosting that. Uh, we are gonna have a separate uh, Zoom room for that. And towards the end of this uh, program, we're gonna put the link to that uh, other meeting in the chat. And it's also on the website. It's also in the emails that we sent out and the text we sent out. It's pretty much everywhere you can find it. Uh, but certainly it's on our website. If you go there and want to click that link and join, it's a lot of fun. We'll have some prizes and such, play some virtual bingo and some trivia and have some fun tonight. Because that's what, you know, part of what this is about is having fun. And we're, we're just sad we can't do this in person, but, but surely this time next year, fingers crossed, right? We're all doing this again in person and having a good time. And then auction items, I did want to mention, uh, we have tons of auction items in this room, you don't see this, but everything outside of this frame that I, you see me in is a total disaster. We have tons and tons of stuff everywhere in this room, it's packed. Uh, all the auction packages are there and we're gonna get them to you uh, for those winning bidders. I assure you, you can come by our office during business hours this week and pick them up. We're gonna have a pickup party, Dan, we're gonna have a pickup right, party so next Saturday. Uh, from two to four at Riverfront School, right around the corner from our admin office on uh, uh, Chambers Street and, and 12th there. And we, you can drive through, we'll all be masked up and we'll hand you your, your baskets of stuff. Uh, we'll arrange to get your items that way too. So rest assured, you will get your items. And uh, now we're gonna, we're gonna move on to uh, the last part of our program, which uh, is our paddle raise. But before we do that, we're gonna share one final video from our New Roads program. New Roads, of course, is our homeless youth program, and really homeless youth is at the heart of what Looking Glass has done for over 50 years. And so this, this is a special update from New Roads and a couple of uh, fantastic stories as well. So please, please join me in listening to uh, an update from our New Roads program, and then we'll come right back. If it wasn't for New Roads, I'd probably be on the streets and just probably dead by now. New Roads is a drop-in center for youth, um, primarily serving youth who are runaway, homeless, living on the streets, or unable to access other services for whatever reason. I get food, clothes, water, things like that that I need from here. They come here to get basic needs met. They can get showers, they can get clothes, they can get assistance with identification or the organ medical plan, or um, even school for that matter. We probably do between 20 and 35 meals a day. And we used to be able to bring kids in and kind of have food going all day long and where they could just kind of get snacks as they wanted. And now because of COVID, we are having to make sure that all of our um, meals are packaged. The kitchen at New Roads could definitely use some work. We run on love and creativity. I think that if there's a will, there's a way. And the food is definitely my personal favorite part of the job. It's where I get the most joy. Again, just sharing that like food is a love language for me and it just reminds me so much of home and being safe and that's what I like sharing with the kids. It's definitely a really fun and safe community and there are often days where I come here and be like, hey, anybody want to play a card game or a board game and we'll play a card game or board game. So we also offered various different housing services. So we have two different rapid rehousing programs that will aid kids in paying their rent for up to 24 months. So we'll help them find an apartment, we'll help them do some landlord liaison type work so that they can get in there. And this is most oftentimes their very first apartment or their very first time having any type of living situation where they have doors and keys and can call it their own. 
And then it's easier to work with them on employment, on education, on all the other tasks that we're, you know, that we take for granted every day. You know, um, it's a real learning process with a huge curve for them. Uh, but but most of them rise to that occasion. You know, they see they see the opportunity that's in front of them and they, and they snatch it, which is a good thing. A big part of this job is meeting kids where they're at. Everybody goes through different processes, whether mental health, addiction, life circumstances. Some of them are fleeing from domestic violence, and it's really just about meeting every individual with compassion and understanding and saying like, hey, well, my current situation is not my final destination, and trying to find give them the resources that they need to be able to help get them the support that they need to hopefully get out of a situation if it's not safe or comfortable for them. I am trying to make a difference here. You know, every person counts, every person matters, and every way that we can influence someone in a positive direction is important. Okay, well, an, another powerful story. You know, this is this is the core of, of what we do, you guys. It's the core of this meeting, and it's the core of, of uh, our mission at Looking Glass to help everybody. So, um, you know, now that you've had a chance to hear from a bunch of Looking Glass stories, um, and you've had a chance to meet some amazing people, um, it's my privilege um, to ask you guys to join me um, in making a, a financial investment into our young people. Um, you know, this isn't an investment necessarily in Looking Glass, um, but it's an investment into our community. Um, you know, to have a healthy future for our community, to have our healthy future for um, its individuals as well, which is great. Um, I personally believe anytime um, I'm in, involved in helping the youth, it's one of the most important things that I can personally give back to. Um, and so um, I'm gonna ask you for your support tonight. Um, and you know, what's needed most? Well, you heard the carrier pigeon comment, I love that. Um, but yeah, it's the financial support of Looking Glass's day-to-day -day operations. And you just heard on the last video about new roads and you heard about the new oven that we need in new roads. The majority of the paddle race tonight will actually go to new, new roads, uh, kitchen remodel um, and, and restructure. So keep that in mind as you're, as you're um, thinking about what you may or may not give. And I know a lot of you have already given already and I'll have Tyler up here in a little bit to kind of help make sure that we recognize as many people as possible. Um, but you know, you may not realize it, but there are thousands, literally thousands of at-risk children um, and their families in Lane County um, that, are in, that need these programs and services to help them overcome life's obstacles. Um, and just frankly, to lead a happier, healthier and more productive lives. Um, so your support is to help ensure that we're able to reach all these kids and um, make sure that, that we reach them today and well into the future, frankly. So um, if you've been inspired by what uh, Tessa, Quay, um, and Levi's um, have talked about tonight and their stories that you've heard, um, I want to ask you to step out of your comfort zone a little bit and give generously if you haven't already. You On there, you'll see a paddle raise button. Um, and I'm just going to talk briefly about each one of the, the levels and kind of what it does for Looking Glass, which is pretty amazing. So you'll have an idea of what your money is going to. Um, anybody, in, and like I said, we're going to try to recognize um, people. And Tyler, I guess you, you can come up and help me do that. Um, so sponsor a youth recognition that recognizes each donor um, that comes through. Um, Oh, I'm going to bag that in that whole section. Um, so the it, we have different with different levels of donation. Our ten thousand dollar level, uh, ten thousand dollar level that allows uh, for sixty seven nights. Or is that about thirty? No, it's about a quarter of a year. I should have done the math on that. Right? Um, yeah, it's probably it's around six. a quarter of a year um, of shelter, counseling, and family reunification, uh, which is great, getting them back with their family, uh, service, services to our homeless youth. So that's a 67 nights. So if we have any $10,000, uh, donors, that would be fabulous. $5,000, uh, that would provide 20, uh, counseling sessions for 25 children and their family, um, that otherwise would not be able to afford it. 
Um, so that's the five thousand dollar level. And let's let's pause there just for a second. Sure. I want to highlight we do have a five thousand dollar bidder and on the oh, screen. Okay. You're seeing our bidders here come through who have already given to us. Uh, Alex uh, Hugman and and Amy uh, are tremendous supporters, yes. and they've they've given us five thousand. So we want to recognize that yes. right now. So thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yes, thank Absolutely. you guys. Absolutely. That's, a big, that's a big deal. Absolutely. Do we have any other ones on there? Uh, any Let's other five thousand dollar donors? Anyone okay. want to jump in right yeah, now? Yeah, anyone want to throw one in there? And again, you can chat us uh, to tell us that you're committing to that level. Uh, certainly, it's it's not crucial to get it on right now, but we would like to get it in there before eight o'clock if we can. And, uh, and we definitely we'll, want to highlight we'll that. certainly recognize them if they come in uh, in a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. So our twenty five hundred dollar uh, levels uh, sponsor youth levels. These guys they provide uh, counseling to twelve children and their families uh, again who would not be able to afford it. Um, so the twenty five hundred dollar levels we have uh, James and Rob uh, James Sly or Jim Sly. Uh, thanks again, Jim. Um, can you see any of the any of the uh, uh, Twenty five hundred. Yeah, we've got Robert, Robert, Robert Weeks. Weeks. Yeah, great thank, supporter, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Robert. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, uh, we do. I, I want to interrupt just quickly. Then. We have a, a another very special match uh, that just popped up. Uh, Alex uh, and Amy uh, Hagman have have offered uh, a match for tonight. If you if you donate. Uh, tonight, correct me if I'm wrong on this, you know, if I'm capturing this right, up to $10,000 of an additional donation wow. uh, from the Hoglands. Through the end of the event. Through wow. the end of tonight's event, through eight o'clock tonight. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, wow. Okay. So any, any donations starting now, right now, uh, through the uh, through 8 p.m. Even uh, if it's 50 gonna, bucks, 100 bucks, right. any yeah. amount of money. Double your we money. Can double, we double can your double it right now. Thanks. That's right. Thanks again, how wow. Wow. That's, that's tremendous. Thank you so much, guys. Wow. You guys got some big hearts. Alex really and Amy, that. They're, they're phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. That's that's fantastic. And you also look like you have the most comfortable viewing area. <laughs> I'm jealous. Well, I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thanks. Yeah. Thanks again, yeah. Alex. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, our next level will be a $1,000 um, sponsor of youth. Um, this, this will cover the cost of a homeless youth, youth um, to help them move into their first apartment, which is the idea, right? We get them in, we help them, potentially some counseling, potentially some counseling around, maybe what to wear at a job interview. This $1,000 donations can help us get them into their own first apartment um, and help them uh, on their way to being an extremely productive citizen. So let's talk about, let's see, $1,000. thousand dollars yes, we've got... Uh... Michelle Gall, we've got Alicia Beamer on there. Alicia actually gave 1500 so thank you, Alicia, so oh, yeah, much Alicia did on that as well. over at Peace Health. We appreciate your support, Alicia. And uh, any other $1,000 donors, we'd love to see you come through right about now and again with, with uh, the Hagman's uh, amazing uh, donation uh, uh, match offer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that 1000 that's huge. is like 2000 That's a, right? yeah, that's I mean, a big deal. That's, that's, a big deal. that's a lot. So if you've, if you've got it in your, your pocketbook, uh, to jump on now and, and click that button and say thousand bucks uh, to look and last. And then again, that'll be basically 2000. So yeah. we really appreciate it. I, I, and again, pretty much at any level. We'll yeah. Yeah. And we're we're going to, we're going to skip that one. Uh, okay. that other, yeah. But this I one. mean, we'll, we'll do that level oh. for sure. So, okay. Um, so the next level is $500 yeah. level. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. And Five. so the $500 level, I'm one of the critical Things that we do for families is, or for yeah for the families is they do counseling programs uh, and parenting education um, and classes. So um, coming in at this level will help us be able to provide a family with um, parenting education classes, which is vital. Um, I think everybody's pretty well aware. Most things start at the home and they evolve from there. So um, if they if we need any people that need help in that area, this will help them get there. So. Again, thank you for our five hundred dollar level sponsor. And we have we usually have quite a few of those. We do have quite a few in. And I want to see. I want to say also, Dave Bakke has just come on with a twenty five hundred dollar donation. So I want to recognize nice. that. Thank, thank you, Dave, thank very you, much yes. to, to join that level. Those are huge, huge impacts those make. So that that's Absolutely. a phenomenal amount. And uh, oh, and Shirley uh, Bronstein just came through at a thousand dollars as well. So very thank nice. you, Shirley, for that. Thank uh, you. And nice. we want to recognize our five hundred dollar. Donors, we've got several of them. Uh, gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle them off here. But Neil Spoon at 500, uh, Jen uh, uh, V. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna butcher that last name. Uh, is on there at 500. We appreciate that. I see Jerry Lids 
was it 500? I think there's a couple more down there. Of course, Dan Lacoste, Dan right here, just Dan the man gave 500. We appreciate that. Uh, Alicia Beamer again did 1500, so she's in there at that 500 as well. Uh, so really appreciate that. And again, each one of these that you guys are giving, Alex and Amy uh, Haugen are, are matching this through up to $10,000. This is that's, fantastic. That's amazing. It's amazing. amazing. Yeah, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. You know, this, this community never ceases to amaze me, uh, the giving that they do. So that's amazing. Um, our, our, our next level uh, sponsor youth is the $100 level, which we're hoping to get a ton of people in at this level. Let's get them all in. Mm -hmm. um, and this pays for three GED exams uh, for low, some of our low-income students. So the GED is, is an important, important uh, tool to have in their arsenal to go out there and make it in the world. Mm -hmm. um, when they're filling out their job applications to be able to say that they've got a high school equivalent GED, that's, that's phenomenal. So Absolutely. we're gonna help pay for some of those or you're gonna help pay for some of those. Mm -hmm. So let's see if who we, we got on there. A flood of $100 okay. bills coming okay. in, that would be fantastic. I know Thank we you. have some that came through already. Uh, so let's try oh, to rattle right. those off, uh, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. The card that came through at 110. I appreciate that. You can do any amount yeah, you that's want. Right, any amount. That's so right. you don't you don't have to stick to our levels. <laughs> we prefer 110 over 100. 110 is better than 100. That's yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> just like 510 is better than 500. So that's we right. we appreciate it. We've got also Mary Bartlett was in there at 100. James Russo is in there at 100. Maggie and Tom Bosworth in 100. Thank you so much. Tracy Picard in at 100. Uh, gosh, if I'm missing any hundreds. I see Angelique uh, Hanscom at 200. So 200, is a, we didn't do a 200 level, yep. but Angelique thought, right. hey, what's, what's better than 100? 200 is better right. than 100. That's so right. we'll take that as well. Um, let's see, any other hundreds? Oh, Emily uh, Jaksik is in there at, at 100. Oh, no, yeah, at 100. Thank you very much, Emily. Fantastic. And oh, I see Heather yeah. Brooke coming through, Heather and Brian at 250. We appreciate you guys very much. Uh, any other hundreds we might have missed? I want to be sure to capture everybody. I think we got all of those. We do have a couple other 200. We've got 250. Susie Thielen came at 250 earlier uh, tonight. So thank you, Susie, for that. A phenomenal, phenomenal donation. George Russell, I see at 250. Uh, thank you, George, uh, very much for that. That's, that's a, a great donation. Uh, and, and gosh, I think, I think we've caught up it's so far. Keep up with them all. It is. They're, they're coming in quick now, but that's definitely good. keep them coming, guys. Oh, and I see Marjorie and Seki coming through at a thousand, another thousand yeah, came yeah, through. Yeah, Marjorie. That's fantastic. Thank Love you it. so much. So our, we're our, 500 in honor of the Hoglands and also in honor of their mother of Rosaria. Yes. All right. So Craig so Opperman mother. has just given us the audio cue. He's going to pitch 500 in himself in honor of the Hoglands match. Yes. And in honor of Rosaria. Rosaria Hoglan has also. She will pledge support. To can us I too. say that? Yeah. Okay. Rosaria Hoglan is also giving us ten thousand dollars. That just came through as well. It's not on your on your screen. I think she's a carrier pigeon or a check writing person. <laughs> she, but, she has uh, people. <laughs> she has people. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. What Thanks a, what to a the whole family. Family. Amazing. We really appreciate the support, guys. Good deal. So we have our, our last uh, sponsor, a youth level, which is fifty dollars. And uh, you guys, so many of you may know this is. Uh, last year was our 50th year that Looking Glass has been around. We started in 1970. Right. Um, and because of, you know, the whole COVID thing, we didn't get a proper way to celebrate it. Um, and still probably not as proper in this scenario, but it's better than nothing. So in honor of our 50th anniversary, um, we would love to see about 50 paddles at the $50 level awesome. go up. Yeah. Um, you know, of course, 50 paddles at that level would be an additional $2,500 mm -hmm. that would go up. And I don't know if we've met, met um, the match yet, but it would get us really dang close if we're not there. So mm -hmm. uh, $50 level. Let's... So we've got lots of 50s coming in here. I yes. want to get them on here. I got Valerie Shar at 50. Thank you, Valerie. Caitlin, Caitlin and Valerie are party partners tonight. We saw them earlier, earlier together, so they've inspired to get 50 each. Thank you, guys. We've got uh, Susie Thielen through another 50 in there. Thank you, Susie. And Chloe gave 50 and uh, Jessica bought through 50 in there. We've just got 50s flying all over the place. Kelly Randstad's a $50 donor. We appreciate that so much, you guys. Uh, what an awesome, awesome yeah, combo awesome. of donors. Yeah, this is fantastic. So thank you guys for, for everything that we're seeing in there. Thanks for everything that's to come. Mm -hmm. And thanks for everything that we maybe haven't seen that's on here. 
Um, so far, it's been a pretty phenomenal evening. For a virtual meeting, Tyler. Hey, not bad. Not you, as good you killed it, as in person, you killed but, it. Uh, you know, pretty pretty good. And, and again, we've got until 8 o'clock uh, to, to get more bids in and to help us reach that match. I see Sheila Marks coming through at 50. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, and we've got time to get some more in. And we've got time for more bids. There's right. some bidding wars to happen here. Yeah, keep drinking and go all the way to eight o'clock. <laughs> I think it's a little important. Everybody have an extra drink about now. Yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, I, we can loosen up those pocketbooks a little and yeah. do a do a good thing. So I think we're gonna pass it back to Liz and Mary now. I believe so. Liz and Mary are gonna chime back in. What you got for us, Gales? Sure. I, I just amazement. I mean, I'm so impressed. It's uh, one of those. My goodness, because collectively and individually you guys have all made a serious impact on our community tonight wasn't that we were, just before we clicked back over we were at twenty thousand and some and and that's before the matches yes from, from our yeah. Yeah. Donor right. And Alex. that's right and i have a feeling there are still people at home right now typing in yeah. their paddle raise donation as well look hey craig is joining us i, I just want to say can, do, do you believe this I, I mean we have liz and riley but we also have mac and dan <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we need to open some kind of a media program or do that as going forth because we've got so much we talent. We built a studio. Yeah, or do a QVC <laughs> thing for a looking glass. Or That was incredible, wasn't it? It was amazing. And I just wanted to thank everybody, especially thank the Hogland family for all their support, but everybody that's out there. It, I know so many people on those lists and I'm so appreciative of all you're doing for looking glass and of course for our community. I just want to say thanks a lot. And mm -hmm. What a great evening so far. Keep it going. Thank you all so much. We got it, Craig. Thank you, too, for all the hard work you do. And thank everybody. Thank all of you for your contributions. Do remember, if these guys haven't reminded you enough yet, keep your bidding up until 8 o'clock tonight to make sure you get your item. And uh, also make sure you can uh, you can also continue to contribute with the paddle raise as well. And that's just one facet of tonight. Stick around because we've got oh, some yeah. fun bingo and some trivia games. And all you have to do is click on the link that was sent through the chat. So that'll get you to our fun games that you can play along with us. That's just as soon as uh, I'm done talking, I think. <laughs> as soon as I zip it and we close here, I will have you back for some fun and games. I'm bringing the troll doll to the bingo game, guys, just so you know. I've got the dauber. Okay, it, we're bringing the heat, a game. Thanks for having us, you guys. Thank it's you. been a pleasure seeing all of you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Liz and Mary, for being our MCs again. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, yes, click the... Click the chat uh, box and uh, click on the link for the virtual bingo and trivia yeah, and right. uh, have some fun. We got some prizes for that too. And, and you will all be competing against the bingo state champion, Tyler Mack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to tell him. You're going down, going down. tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, man. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, uh, uh, for everything everyone's done. And, and we, we uh, hope to see you next year live and in person. That's right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Let's play some bingo. Okay. 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 Okay.